pull him out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Unbelievable. Tonight's big story, a valley man lucky to be alive after a car collapses on top of him while he was doing what he thought would be a routine repair. He's alive tonight thanks to the quick action of two Mesa police officers who he's now reuniting with. Team 12's Mitch Carr joins us with the incredible story of survival. I thought it was only going to take me a couple of seconds. I could slide right in, do what I needed, and slide right back out in less than a minute. I had just hit him a flathead, and then he just barely shifted just to get his arm in a certain position, and the whole, the whole car came off the jacks, and it bounced down on him, and he screamed, obviously. We both, we both screamed. Then it all just went dark. That's the situation when officers Josh Gardner and Nolan Martineau get the call. They realized that one of the jacks Devin Haycock is using to prop up his wife's Honda Civic has collapsed. His whole upper body was under the car. His legs were sticking out. Um, I could see the jack that he had was kind of tilted over. It failed. They decide that with the help of a neighbor, they'll have to lift the nearly 3,000 pound vehicle just enough to get Haycock out. You try to lift it up and pull him out. I could have a bunch of little breaths. Um, I, I couldn't really take deep breaths whatsoever. Officer Gardner said, hey, let's try to pick up the car. So we just went for it. When I heard, OK, we're going to lift it up, that's when my vision started to go blurred. I was starting to pass out. Pull him out. They lifted a car, yeah. Relax, relax. Yeah, just relax. Proper form, right? Use your knees. Don't hurt your back. Now safe relief doesn't quite cover Devin's feelings. Oh, that was the first for me. The first for me too. And I was just getting deep breaths in, just happy, happy to be alive. You guys are fast. Devin and Kaylin are expecting a baby girl due at Christmas. And thanks to these officers, Devin will get to meet her and be a father to her. I have children myself, so it should be a happy, rewarding experience for them. I was just really happy that he was that he was okay, that he was able to get out on his own. Uh, so that was a really good sign. Uh, he was still breathing and talking. Well, I'm extremely thankful for these two officers. Devin says Kalen's car still needs some suspension work, but he's going to take it to somebody who has the proper equipment before he ever tries to do any work on his own again. Mitch Carr, 12 News.